Okay, are you happy now? You're getting paw prints all over my dashboard, sweetheart. Hi there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dice for Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video is another vlog. I seem to be addicted to making these now. So in last week's vlog, I went and bought some green yarn and kind of realized that maybe I didn't buy enough of the green yarn. And then when I looked online, they didn't seem to carry the color. And I don't know if it is a new color or if it's a discontinued color because I've never really bought green for like any project. So I, you know, I wouldn't really know like yellows and pinks and oranges. Like I know what colors they have in stock because it's what I use all the time. I'm currently in line for Starbucks right now and I'm not a Starbucks person. I only buy during pumpkin season and then I'm cheap and I only buy from Tim Hortons. Also, I love their ice caps, so like why why change a good thing? But I don't like the pumpkin ice caps at Tim Hortons, so that was like a that's a whole rant on its own. But anyways, I'm just in line right now. It is a rainy day. I am in my Coraline attire. I feel like when it's like the first rainy day of fall, I'm like, I want to wear things Coraline would wear and um, my Coraline sweater, which I do have a video on how I made it. Anywho, I want to get my Starbucks because it's, it's fall and I want a pumpkin spice frappuccino. Also, I don't do like hot drinks. It's all cold drinks. And then I'm going to go to Michael's and see if they have that yarn. And then when I get home, I think I have to start editing another video for this week. And then after that, maybe start planning out the project that I'm buying the yarn for. Getting my drink and then going to Michael's. All right, so I got I got the pumpkin frappuccino that I desperately needed. But anyways, it's time to go and see if the yarn is in here. And if it's not, I'm a little worried. Just, just a little bit worried. And I, cause I don't want to go to the other Michaels. The other Michaels is like, is far. And I don't want to go there today. But hopefully they have the yarn I need now. So I should probably just get in there and look for it. So I went in and I first saw these colors and I'm like, these, these aren't the colors. These are too bright, right? So I checked the names and I was right. They were the wrong colors. The color I needed was tucked, was tucked back there. And there was only two of them in there. So thankfully, thankfully they did have them in the store. They had the yarn in the store. I am very happy about this. Like here, here's the thing. It's not like I could check if they had it online because it didn't show up online. So it either is a new color or a discontinued color, but they had two of them. I only needed the one. I didn't need to buy two of them. So ho hopefully, could you imagine if I needed a fifth one and I didn't buy it and then they don't have it anymore? I don't need it, it's fine. This is what I need, this is the color I need. I should pretty much start working on that project. So today, like I said, I'm gonna do some editing and then I'm gonna start mapping this out because this is another one of those projects where I'm gonna like crochet an image onto something, which I'm super excited about. So I have to do a little bit of like calculation and math and like figuring how big I want it and like how's it gonna fit me and all that jazz. So that's what I'm gonna spend today, Sunday doing is just figuring out this project, doing some editing and just crocheting. All right, it is Tuesday. The time is 8.03 p.m. And I just started uploading the video that I have to put out tomorrow. So all day I have been editing it and it's gonna take another two hours and 32 minutes. So that's what I was doing all day was editing this video here, which this video will be out by the time the video that I'm currently making airs. And now I can, uh, I can start crocheting. Yesterday, I think I started about here and I got all of this done. Just a little sneak peek, it is gonna be a two-tone and I'm loving how this is turning out right now. I'm really hoping to get this done in two weeks. I don't know if it's gonna get done in two weeks. This is like two hours worth of work. Hopefully I can get an hour in today. I didn't do much today besides editing and now I'm just gonna start crocheting and watch Netflix. It's Wednesday. Oh God. That's my outdoor cat called regular size Rudy. Does his own thing. He's still on my roof. Today, me and my sister are actually going to go to a mall. My hair's a little bit of a mess. I'm kind of just looking for like, oh, don't do that. You're going to slap. Okay. Are you happy now? You're getting paw prints all over my dashboard, sweetheart. Anyways, we're going to a mall today because I want to find some socks. I want to find cute socks and I know Ardeen's has them. Unfortunately, this little guy, he's not coming to the mall with us. No, because you're a cat. There's nothing at the mall you'd want. My other size, Rudy. Oh, you're getting mud all over me. I love you. And then I think we're going to go to Ikea and then I think we're going to stop at a thrift store. I'm not really doing like a big thrifting thing because hopefully next week me and my sister are going to go to a Goodwill outlet thrift event. So I don't want to do too much thrifting till then because I want to have like a good chunk of change to do that. Anywho, um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So
Does this sweater vest look kind of familiar? These were actually really, really cute. Then we headed over to Ikea. The Ikea pencil. They're so rare to find. You can only find them here. But they're not sure Are you packing? I'm in. He's in. I was just looking for some washcloths, you know? I picked up some like years ago and I just wanted to like get some new ones. I saw these rugs. They were so cute and so soft. I loved the colors and they were only $20. I didn't need one for this trip, so I didn't pick one up, but you know, good to know they're there. And then I saw these fall ones. Here's the thing. If these ones here were actually mushroom prints, probably would have picked it up. Then we went over to Value Village. You know, I was just kind of perusing some like, you know, decor, kind of looking for some like maybe more fall decor, stuff that would suit my room. I did see this artwork here. It was $8 and I thought it was really cool, but you know, didn't really have $8 for that. And then they had the matching sets, but like two of them were for five and then two of them for eight, which didn't make sense. Again, if I had the money, would have bought it. This blanket, I really like the colors. Again, it was crocheted. So if I want to make it, I will make it. So I did leave it at the store. Who would donate this? Then I found these. I found all of these Stitch by Stitch magazines. There had to have been like 30 of them and they were just like so neat. And if you had watched my last thrift haul, I thrifted some really cool books. I'm kind of just like on the hunt for vintage patterns, vintage crochet books, just like anything like crafting wise. If it was made pre 1980s, kind of need to buy it. This kind of creeped me out a little bit. It was neat. I did like that one sweater, like that one sweater on the doll. I want that for me. And then I saw this. It's not really my style, but it's definitely like the 80s. It's giving me 80s vibes. I thought it was really neat. It'd be such a cool like TV cupboard and for $20, but I mean, I have a car. I can't fit it in my car. This was a really nice sweater vest. $7 wasn't a bad price, wasn't my size. Gymnasium and Sports Co. Play the baseball. It's a good way to relax. This was kind of neat. I kind of wanted to buy it because we were like out in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near Niagara on the lake where, you know, like I live in Niagara. And for the fact for this to like get all the way over there and it was vintage because it was made in Canada, but red's not really my color. Yesterday after shopping with my sister, I ended up doing a little bit of crocheting for this project that I'm working on. It's this one. I got this much done this to here and then like all the way down to here like this all the way down it took about an hour and 40 minutes just to do that but if i'm looking at it it's two thirds done so hopefully i can finish this back panel it is the back panel tonight i don't see myself doing anything else for the rest of the week besides editing this video and basically just crocheting more of that green and black project that i'm working on i think i'm just going to show you everything that i bought yesterday and everything that i thrifted yesterday first off i'm just going to show you the new things that i bought normally i don't buy new things when it comes to like say hair clips socks body lotions and all that jazz I, I kind of have to buy them new first off I just really want to quickly show you what I got at well, I can never say it right Bath and Body Works I got this one here it's just blueberry sugar pancakes I remember seeing a TikTok two years ago about some guy talking about how good this is and like the past two years I've went to go see if it was in the store they never had it and they had it so I spent a little chunk of change to buy this smelling it out of the bottle it smells like it smells like blueberry pancakes, but then when it goes on my hands, it doesn't smell as good as it does in the bottle, if that makes sense. And then we went to Urban Planet. I have not shopped at Urban Planet in a good while, mainly because I, one, I'm not a big fan of fast fashion, mainly because everything that I like pretty much I think your grandfather owns, such as like this amazing sweater here. There was like some really cute checkerboard vests in there, but then like looking at them and they're like, 
twenty dollars and it's not a bad price it's not a bad price for those because i really like them and i might eventually maybe buy one in the back of my head i'm like i could make that while i was there i did actually find some socks and i know michelle this is the most boringest haul you've ever had but i needed some basics and we will get to the thrifted items don't you worry but i just wanted some cute socks just like the cute like little ones like this and they had a really good sale where it was like you buy one you get one for a dollar but i bought these ones mainly because of those really cute loafers that i have that I bought that I thrifted and I envisioned loafers with cute little frilly socks that's what I got these for um, also I did wear a pair to work today so one of them was gray they also had a sale on their clips really like the idea of just like pinning my hair back with little tiny clips I got these two packs here the one that belongs to this one is in my hair right now so this one here belongs to this set and then I also picked up these cute ones I absolutely love it when clips come in sets I don't like it when there's just one like I want two of them I would have been happier if there was another one of this like pink one like the straight one up here but having these two clips like to clip my hair back these are really cute and again they did have a really good sale where you buy one you get one for a dollar and the regular price was four dollars so five dollars for both these clips I think it's a pretty good price all right so that's all the mall stuff we did go to Ikea and all I did was just find some washcloths. I just needed some new washcloths. That was it. They're in the wash right now. They were blue. But let's get it right into what I found thrifting. Now this thrift store, well this Value Village, me and my sister have only been to once. I think it's like in between like Hamilton and Ancaster. I don't really know where this is and it's such a strange place place because you have to go in and I think there's like a Canadian tire but there's all these buildings and then you have to go down some side street but it's like still in the complex of stores and then in the very very back of this whole thing is a value village and I think it's a newer value village but honestly the stores next to it I think it's a treasure hunt it looks abandoned so it doesn't even look like a value village should be there so let me just show you what I found I didn't find like too many things I really do like what I did find and I think last time I didn't buy anything there either I don't think it's my favorite value village first off I did find all of these magazines there must have been 30 40 magazines like this they are stitch by stitch a step-by-step -step guide to successful sewing knitting and crochet if I could have just bought the whole lot like if they had all these in one bag for 10 bucks I probably would have bought them but they were a dollar 29 each so if I were to have bought every single one of these it would have cost me like $30 it wasn't something that I really wanted to invest in it's just kind of like looking off of what they were showing me here and if there was something that caught my eye I bought it for instance on this one here this jacket and I want to make it I want to make it so much no way <gasps> I've never seen like this with a crochet hook. It's usually knitting, but it's done. The crochet hook, that is so cool. Here we go. This. This looks so cool. I think that this is something that I'm definitely gonna try to make this year. And even if I don't find like a good quilt to do it with, I do have that sunflower blanket that I wanted to make a coat out of. So I think this might be the pattern that I use to make that coat. And then this one here, I really liked the sweater vest. I really liked the crochet stitch that they had on the sweater vest. I thought that was really neat. Like this. Oh, and there's a matching cardigan to go with it. That's pretty cool. And then I tried to look through the sweaters. I tried to look through the skirts. I even went into the men's section. There was a really nice coat, but it just wasn't it. But as me and my sister were waiting in line to get checked out, she's like, look at that over there. You see this it's cats it's just a fleece zip up sweater with cats on it the price of it was $9.49 a little steep you know me I like to keep a budget I mean if there's cats on it I probably would have paid $15 like not gonna lie I would have paid $15 $20 no would not have paid $20 for this I don't have $20 to spend on a cat sweater but $9.49 I can spend that on this cat sweater I mean it's so cute there is pockets it's adorable how can I not not own this right so when I saw this I'm like I I have to buy it so I think that pretty much does it for this vlog I've kind of grown to actually like making vlogs before I just I didn't like it because they're just I didn't really have anything to do nowadays regards to thrifting I don't do as much thrifting as I used to just because like I'm really content with the clothes that I have you know it's not something that like I need to do every single week I although I would love to I've just 
you know I've smartened up a little bit with my spending budget even though I did spend a, an ungodly amount of money on hand cream other than that that hand cream is gonna last me a while so I'm okay but you know I think I might start doing vlogs more and more you know depending on what I'm doing and stuff like that but other than that I think that does it for the video if you're new to my channel like sewing crafting thrifting and crocheting why not hit that subscribe button you can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok which is both fancy dinosaur tea party I think that is it so y'all have a good day now